you know, um, a lot of shit, you know, been going on, but, you know, uh, we finally done buried the queen, uh, she, she gone and done went to wherever she's supposed to be going, but, you know, may her soul rest in peace, how do you feel about that, brother? Dude, the queen is dead, I mean, seven, seven, imagine 70 years as a monarch, like, 70 years as a leading monarch, not, oh, I'm, like, president of this country that's, like, you know, a freaking, uh, come staying on the, on the planet, like, she was a major player in the board game for and lived doing that for 70 years. So, um, damn, God, God, hope, God save the queen, I guess. I'm, I'm, <laughs> um, like, it, it's just cool. Like, a lot of people, and I've noticed a lot of people, like, every, I don't know why recently but anytime somebody dies all of a sudden people come out of the woodwork to be like oh actually they're a piece of shit like it's like literally uh, that's what twitter does they're just like waiting for like the easiest prey who's somebody that won't fight back that's right somebody dead um but anyways so like i don't know yeah back that shit happens. That shit always happens with any leader, regardless. Uh, I don't think her ass should have been just, running for 70 years, though, cuz. I'm gonna just go ahead and say that shit right now. I don't mean to cut y'all, brother, but I'm gonna I'm keep it a buck. No, her fuck ass well, shouldn't have been she, leading for 70 years. I just well, don't... She wasn't, though. She wasn't. She's like a figurehead. She's... I mean... As far... What has she done? Do we, what figurehead do we have here? Like, the figurehead of the queen pretty much took them through every i mean like got them through a lot of wars okay i give her that i give her that because i mean ain't yeah. no ain't no american gonna do you know half the shit she does you feel what i'm saying for her own but it's just the, it's just the fact of i don't believe that everybody give a damn you know i feel like what it is is that this was a long time coming um i feel like she lived her life long enough so her son don't fucking become king but apparently that shit happened, and now he's king. Now, I personally feel like this is just a little old little brat in an old-ass man body. Me, personally. And then on top of that, it's just like, um, I don't know, man. I, I just don't like uh, this, this whole move. Uh, I feel like, um, if, if it's up to me, I felt like Philip, you know, he'd be a better king than Charles. You know what I'm saying? Just the fact that Charles is the son. But, hey, it is what it is. Yeah, and it's weird it's weird to think about. I feel like nobody in the royal family, everybody got complacent. They're like, oh, Queen's just going to live forever, you know? You might have, like, once she hit her 70s, everybody's like, okay, get ready. And then she hit her 80s, and she's still trucking. People are like, oh, okay, whatever. And then she actually dies, and everybody's like, oh, shit, we didn't think this was going to happen. I'm, I'm just saying, like, I thought that, you know, it would have been a little bit... I don't know, because, like, a lot of people thought she died early, you know, sooner than, uh, you know, like, they held it down, and then they finally released the information. Like, she been dead. That's what that's what a lot of people felt. But I'm just like, why would why would they do something that extra? Like, who is she? Besides, I mean, yeah, she the queen, but it's just like, ain't nobody finna... No, I'm just saying, like, I don't mean no disrespect, but it's just like, ain't nobody finna go all out that much, you know, just to try to hide some shit like that. She dead. Dude, I... While I don't think they hit her body or anything like that, if there was anybody that was going to do some shenanigans, it'd be a royal family, wouldn't it? Especially, like, one of the longest monarchies like this. Um, I don't know. It's weird. It's weird to think about, like, a monarch. You know, there's plenty of, there's plenty of monarchs that were... that are still figureheads in various countries. But as an American, it's weird to think of, like, oh, hey, here's this bloodline that just innately uh innately is politically powerful now we just do it by money let's, let's like, talk hey, about who cashes who cashes out on the forbes 100 they have the most power because <laughs> i, I want to talk about the bloodline let's talk about the bloodline right do you feel like it's a bloodline of incest i mean depends on the country i don't think it's purely um yeah yeah i think like some of them, maybe not not in current days, because incest has been like poo pooed for very long. But like back in the day, yeah, I'm sure 
I'm sure there was some uh, some cut cut and touching or whatever the fuck. Yeah, cause I feel like I feel like uh, you know that boy Philip might be the derivative of all that shit, boy. Cause I mean that mean? his head is look fucking weird, bro. Like his shit, his shit shaped like this. That shit shaped like this. And half of them motherfuckers over there look weird as fuck anyway. You know what I'm saying? Especially, like, as far as, like, these kings and queens and shit. These motherfuckers Bro, be looking... Just, it's okay, man. They're just white people. No, nah, I'm they not saying... Weird. It's, 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 so, it's some beautiful white people. Get out of here. Um, either <laughs> way, that's not what I'm saying. It's some beautiful white people. I'm just saying, like, these motherfuckers will look different. You feel what I'm saying? Like, incest. That's what I'm asking you. Like, do you think that... No, they're just... I don't mean to be rude here. They're just British. They're just like super British. See, he rude. He more rude than me. He's saying British British people ugly. That's what he just said. I'm not saying I'm not I ain't saying nothing ugly. fucked I'm up. That was brother said me. that. Brother said that. A lot of the identifying <laughs> traits that you're mentioning are like very uh very British. That was fucked up. See what he said was more fucked up than what I said. I'm gonna just <laughs> hey, any of our British listeners, I mean if you're pretty and you're British, like Good yeah. job. Good job. Awesome job. Good job. So right. let's 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 talk about uh the Satan. All right. Let's talk about the Satan. Uh for those people oh, who don't Jesus. know. I was like, what? Man, you know damn what I was talking about. It's the same person. <laughs> so those for those who don't know, you know, we have uh uh Governor Ron DeSantis. That's that's his name for y'all, but for us he's the Satan. Because the Satan. apparently he wanted to send, you know, some uh what, what would you say, Venezuelan voyagers. What would you say? Refugees. Refugees. People trying, to, people trying to escape the country because shit's going down. Shit going down. You know what I'm saying? So he sent their ass up to motherfucking Martha's Vineyard. Now I asked brother what that was. I thought the shit belonged to Martha Stewart, but it's some place up there. And uh, what is what is what is it? No, it's in Massachusetts. Massachusetts. It's like people, it, it's kind of a ritzy, well-to-do place. And DeSantis basically caught them in Texas. A lot of them actually had plans to meet up with family in Florida. And, like, work on getting visas and all that. Um, some of them were told, like, oh, hey, if you get on this plane, we'll get you super expedited visas and all that stuff. And then they end up in the middle of a fucking island on Mass- in Massachusetts. Um, think, but, honestly, major props to the community of Martha's Vineyard because they really, they really got together and helped out these people that literally just got shipped into, into the middle of nowhere as far as they were concerned. Yeah, I mean, at least there's some good considerate people out here. Yeah, that's where, as a Floridian, that's where some of your tax dollars go, is to ship random uh, random Venezuelans in parts that aren't Florida. Why? Because we feel like it. Cause don't you, don't you just love being a Floridian? Damn near pretty much just saying, yeah, bro, like, America is one part, but nigga, when you a Floridian... That's just a whole nother ball game. Just a whole nother yeah, shit. I got a, I got a question for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this is something I was thinking about. With the increasing popularity of people moving here and like seeking out specifically Florida with hyper, and I'm not, I'm not saying conservative because that's not what I'm going on. People can be right wing and not be crazy. Yeah. But. Like, I'm saying, like, hyper, hyper right-wing. Like, right-wing isn't right-wing enough, people. Are moving to Florida, like, with the aim of it kind of being a breeding ground. Like, it becoming a hot spot for, like, modern hyper-conservatism. Hmm. Um, as somebody that's been in... Because and, and, you've been in Florida your whole life, too, right? Yeah. Yeah, as somebody that's been born and raised here, how do you, how do you feel about that? I'm fucking you know, irritated. You consider moving... Sorry, say that again? I'm very irritated. Yeah. It's like, I don't I don't want to move. I don't want to say that I would ever move for something as petty as, like, political ideals. Uh, but stuff is getting, like, more and more pervasive nowadays. Like, in, in your shit and whatnot. Um, it's, it's, it's really, um... I would say it's kind of, like, nonsense, really. Because, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is how it is everywhere. Um, we're acknowledging how crazy, like, the the price to live is just skyrocketed, right? Mm-hmm. But it's like, these motherfuckers is not raising these wages 
of of how much you know what I'm saying, how much y'all paying us and shit to go to these fucking jobs. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm 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 about sick of that. I'm I'm really about sick of that because it's like how is it that civilians or regular normal people, you know what I'm saying, recognize this shit? But these rich bitches ain't recognizing it. These motherfuckers in politics not recognizing it. And then on top of that, to talk about it in, like, the Senate and the House and all of this shit. And y'all notice, you know what I'm saying? Everywhere. Everywhere is getting more expensive. Y'all are talking about this shit. And y'all not doing nothing about it. It's a lot more complicated of a question or a problem to solve. But what what if they got us believing that, though? That it's a hard problem to solve. Maybe it could be fucking easy. it is a it is a complicated problem to solve. Okay, okay. Case in point. Mm-hmm. So let's just say that, and I'm not going to count like the COVID bucks or anything like that. That was kind of like an outlier of times for a lot of shit. But let's say we increase every for like bottom 30, 30, 35% of wages, people living in Florida making those wages. Okay, we bump those wages up by 20%. Mm-hmm. Okay? So now the bottom comes a little bit more. That is good. And a lot of... Com- and, and this is where we end up with like a double... Like catch-22. Uh, a lot of companies probably can do that. But also, a lot of companies either don't have the profit margins to run... Like to just dump into that are a publicly traded company, so they can't be as uh, immediately benevolent, you know? Because, for instance, if I go, oh, okay, our wage, our bottom 30% of our grocery store is now making 20% more. If that's not my company, as far as I'm driving the boat, but I don't own the boat, I have to now make that work. Does that mm. make sense? Am I, I don't know if I'm talking in circles on this. Well, long story short, <laughs> it's kind of like a rippling wave. I uh, might have just been bullshitting myself there. Long story short, it's like a rippling wave. Uh-huh. And I think that the prob- where we need to do it is like almost a two-stage of we need to increase wages for, for lower-paying jobs while also at the same time taking that as more incentivization to tax the ultra-rich. And not necessarily the ultra-rich on doing business here, but just the ultra-rich off of, like, capital gains taxes. Hmm. Okay. Long story short, um, the rich are richer than rich has ever been. Um, Like, king rich and queen rich ain't shit to what rich now means. Um, even, Even if you think of, like, oh, hey, they had, like, a room full of gold. Okay, there are people that are worth more than like a building of gold mm-hmm. now. Um, but, but this is my thing, though. You know, um, why is it so easy for these motherfuckers to take our money, but they act like it's so hard to give us money? Why is that? Isn't that isn't that the stupid part? Like, oh, hey, will. We'll need this for this project X Y Z. It'll totally make jobs, but like what they don't tell you is those jobs aren't worth a shit. Mm-hmm. In a lot of cases, uh, even some crazy like I saw, I saw McDonald's was hiring for like thirteen dollars an hour. And I was like, I not that long ago, thirteen bucks an hour wasn't that bad. Like not, and when I say not that long ago, I'm not like going, oh, back in my day. I'm talking like. Fucking five or six years ago, thirteen dollars wasn't horrible. I mean, you were still, especially in this area, you were still probably hurt, but yeah. like doable. But you were also twenty one. Thirteen dollars? Do what? I said, but you were also twenty one. No, no, no. I'm saying for anybody at that time, like thirteen oh. bucks an hour, even five years ago, went. It went. It didn't go far, but you could, you could with others get by. Where, like, $13 an hour in 2022 feels like the new $9 an hour. Oh, yeah. But I'm saying, like, that's why I said, like, uh, I think I think I was watching something, and they were, like, uh, talking about the golden handcuffs, how people got, you know, these nice-ass salaries or whatever the case may be. They still, they're still unhappy. You know what I'm saying? And it's like... Of course. It, it's, it's just... Mm. 
I don't know, man. I ain't, I ain't gonna go too into the whole nine to five bit. But hey, um, let's get into something where it's just like, um, you know, we already on enough is enough train. Let's let's get let's talk about it a little bit more. Um, yeah. So there was a mother shot after telling her neighbor to stop target practicing in his backyard. Uh, yeah, she was shot and killed. So, what what's your thoughts on that? Somebody getting shot. It's no different than anything else. Mm. Like I I don't know. For me, all gun violence is the same, regardless of context. Like, you shoot somebody because you're mad at them, you shoot somebody because uh, they disrespected you, somebody you're with, uh, they, you shoot them because any reason. If it starts with you shoot them, you shot them. It doesn't matter. Like, there can be crimes of passion, but as far as I'm concerned, most of the time a gun is a coward's weapon. Mm. I mean, then that's coming from somebody that loves guns. I do, I, I do love my guns, and I love to use them for the appropriate reasons. But if you're shooting at somebody else, it's because you don't think you can take them up close and personal. But for to to, I I think I think what it is is that um, you know you got to take these guns a little bit more serious than you know that people are. Because I mean, if you're doing target practice in your backyard, um, I I don't I don't know. Like I mean, Dude, I you feel like be living in a suburban area. First of all, like that's Jesus. Yeah, that's what I said. It's like it, it was kind of like a bonehead kind of thing in the first place to do, um, especially with like homes being so so close together and stuff like that. Uh, I, I I I just don't know, man. Like it's just always some stupid shit, and it's always a gun involved. And the person that's shooting the gun is a stupid motherfucker. So, I mean, I don't know if we need to start doing... Nah, that shit sound dumb as fuck if I said well, that. But I I, no. I just feel like they need to start looking into who is buying this gun. Well, how can... Okay, so, like, again, this is where that, like, multi... I feel like that multi-tiered problem comes in. It's like, yeah, we can look into every single person that purchases a gun. Mm-hmm. And then we have two problems. Who controls that information, and what do we do with the people that aren't part of that program? Like, that's that's what pisses me off about guns. We've had guns freely available in this country for decades. Mm-hmm. Decades. This isn't, this isn't some Y2K bullshit that just showed up. These guns have been around. It doesn't matter if it looks like an AR... 15 AR 15s have been around for fucking ever. Handguns have been around forever. All of this shit is not new technology, and people are acting like all of a sudden it's how people act about, especially I'm gonna I'm gonna pick on like AR style weapons. How people like use the AR platform as a witch hunt reminds me the exact same way that like people playing video games. Mm. It's like is it a potential factor to a larger picture? Yes. Is it the direct cause? No. Um, dude, I don't know. I don't like. What do you do? What do you do when your population becomes too, too stupid to have something? And again, like, what do you do with the people that will just subvert that system and get a gun and shoot somebody anyways? Because I know, uh, I know both of us probably know plenty of people that wouldn't give a single shit about that law. <laughs> and what do you do? Do you just shoot them on the spot? Hey, you have a gun that you didn't get licensed. Bop, dead. Mm. Solves the problem, right? Mm. Um, <laughs> dude, it just, it sucks. This is something that pisses me off so much. It's like, I feel like the... America in tw- in the past 10 years has been like, this is why we can't have nice things. Brother's message of the day. If you're doing something stupid, and then you look and you start blaming people for doing the same stupid thing, congratulations, you are one of those stupid people. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, stupid ass people. Speaking of stupid ass people, let's talk about Adam Levine, stupid ass nigga. All right. Who? First of all, Adam, Adam Levine, Levine like lead singer for motherfucking Maroon Five, stupid bitch. This is the problem with people, man. Stop cheating on your on your woman. Period. First of all, 
Then you had cheating on you women while she pregnant. Then you out here fucking TikTok bitches. Then the TikTok bitch get pregnant. Then you want to name the new baby that's about to be born by your wife by the little TikTok bitch. What's going on, bro? Can, uh, can, can I have a second brother's message of the day? I, I think I need a second one. Yeah, go ahead and shoot them down, bro. Ladies. You know what? I'm going to get personal on this one. Let me get closer to the mic. Ladies. And gentlemen, too. Uh, but I'm going to mainly direct this to ladies. Ladies. If you scroll on your own profile and you go, man, I think I'm an Instagram hoe. Or, oh, man, I think that I'm a TikTok hoe. Maybe read a book. Maybe, like, go outside, like, look at how nice nature is and realize that you don't have to be that way. And for the guys, and for the guys that encourage these girls to live this artificial life, like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it with you. Fuck you, you degenerate motherfuckers. What the fuck is wrong with you? Tell me. Like, are, do you guys fuck Barbie dolls on your side? Can't deal with real women. <laughs> Fucking dumbasses. Brother, second message of the day. Anybody that involves himself with that stuff is a freaking goon. And and I feel like she a little pup. Like I feel like she little. Like I feel like she's young. I don't I don't know how old she is, but if the bitch famous by TikTok, she gotta be young. Um I feel like I feel like a lot of these guys who are old and creepy as fuck with money, you know what I'm saying? You keep trying to Adam Levine ain't even that old. I don't give a fuck. He old to me now. He he an old creepy dude now to me. How old how old is he now? How old is he? What he now? is okay. about? he's four he's forty three years old. And that dude looks younger than I do. I don't give a damn. He is a 43-year-old creep. Yeah, and you know what? He's rich as fuck. Welcome to America. Hey, I, I tell you what. That's why I said y'all need to start flipping through the pages, goddammit. Find all these motherfucking little creeps with money. Get they fuck ass exposed and get them out of here. It's just that simple. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like he ain't really... I'll take that back. Because I don't feel like it's creepish. I just feel like he a hoe. You know what I'm saying? I like, let's, yeah, I don't think let's, I, let me let me reiterate. You know what I'm saying? He ain't creepy. He a hoe. But at the same time, he a dumb hoe. Because now she finna take half of what the fuck he got. Unless she signed a prenup. I ain't hear nothing about no prenup. So she finna go take that shit. And the kids. I think that's another thing that's really confused. Is, um... Or that's really confusing to me. Is that, like, again, in this day and age, why would you... Why would you do something like this, especially if you're famous, and expect your wife to not find out? And then whole time, boy, you's a famous motherfucker. Bro, do you forget you famous? Like, somehow. Right. Somehow, motherfucker, you just forgot you famous. Like, when you text a bitch, she ain't finna talk about it. What is wrong with you, nigga? Dude, this goes, this goes hand in hand with our last episodes about the rappers. Like, just... Just thinking that like they're good, they can do whatever and it's not gonna it's not gonna come back and bite them in the ass. It's just like you no, know, it, it just goes to show you it doesn't matter how rich you are. People are still people and people are still gonna do dumb things. You know, we got people that are worth billions of dollars that send dick pics over unencrypted text message. And they like, never, they never fuck better bitches. Uh, and nobody wanted the dick pics anyways. That's, oh, that's the funny, funny part about humans. <laughs> nobody wanted the dick pics at ten million dollars. They didn't want your dick pics at ten dollars. But nah, let's let's talk about that. It's just literally the fact that like I d I don't know, bro. Like I I feel like I feel like they don't even fuck better women. It always be some it always be some basic ass bitch or some bitch that wanna Dude. be their actual wife. Why are you doing this? What what you doing, brother? It's, you know, again, they're humans, you know, I, I don't, they're still wrong, they're still definitely wrong, um, but like, they're called thirst traps for a reason, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, but you know, we not, we not finna blame it on this girl, Dude, we not, we not, I just, this I'm, is all a damn it. damn fault. Um, I'm blaming on all parties, everybody knew what was up there. You know, like I mean, I mean, but then again, she knew Laura, he was if, married. She knew he was married. He's Adam fucking Levine. Yeah, <laughs> like that's like that's like somebody sleeping with Beyonce and be like, oh, but well, I thought she was single. I didn't know. 
Yeah. And she was single. But we all know hoes don't stay in the whole place. We know this. We we what? know that over time, over time, right? Over time, you realize that okay, every time they be trying to pay these hoes on a low. For some reason, they always come out. Whether you pay them, whether you keep they silent, whether you beat they ass, whether you kill they ass, for some reason, whatever you did in the dark will come in the fucking light. You understand what I'm saying? Like I said, it's, it's, it, I'm pretty sure it's stories of side bitches who done got murked and the whole time this whole done left the goddamn voice machine of her talking about how the yeah, fuck she did this and stuff. Come on. She's got a fucking black box somewhere. Exactly. Detail exactly. Yeah, if women create black so magic, I'm pretty sure that whole got a black box of secrets. And what's so silly about all that is that, like, in the grand scheme it. of things, in the grand scheme of things, outside of somebody doing some, like, freaking pedo shit or some depraved shit like that, it's really not a big deal. It's just people, people are so thirsty for the latest gossip now. Like, uh, like we were talking earlier about, um, about the Princess Diana might have cheated and, like, Harry wasn't her son or something like that. Oh, like, that's he, a perfect he really example to me of, like, people, people are just so thirsty for the latest scandal now. Speaking oh. of scandal, uh, if anybody hasn't seen the show Bridgerton, check it out. It's pretty fucking good. Mm -hmm. But this, yeah, yeah, we were talking about, you know, um, how, uh, you know, some some people, while I was watching, you know, Twitter be doing this thing, and some people were like, yeah, you know, uh, Princess Diana, you know, she stuck that, um, you know, use the term, you know, saying that she was a hoe, but it was just like, hey, uh, that man Charles was stepping up, you know what I'm saying, she can do what it do, but I felt like, you know, hey, that's, that's childish, that is very childish. That is very childish. You get out that damn marriage. And that's what she did. She got out the marriage and he killed the bitch. I felt like Charles did that shit, bro. Hey, I got a I got a controversial question for you. So do you feel that the tight further tightening down of abortion laws in the US is just a like insecure man reaction to the fact that they can't deal with uh, women sleeping around and it not being considered hoeing because they're the only one like the only ones of a two party deal that actually have to live with the repercussions hey uh... so <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a nice one right uh, that's a yeah nice one, right yeah I, you can rain check on this one I just I kind of came to my thought it's like man you know women are really the ones that like have to deal have to deal with that like a dude could now uh they might chase your ass down looking for child support but like a dude can just be like deuces and ghost out yeah of of a situation um, yeah. where and like that wouldn't be as big of a deal if i guess if women were more freely able to make a choice on that anyways Food for, you know, random food for thought. Yeah, you know, um, I, I just feel like um, men need to take more responsibility um, Dude, as far seriously. as like, yeah, hell yeah, whether it be like, I mean, bro, I'm talking about from start to finish when it come down to any kind of exchange with whoever you would like to be with. Anyone, like, I've, one of my friends was telling me, Fuck. and you're you're more on social media, you're on social media more than I am. Like, one of my friends was telling me that there's this, like, resurgence of hyper-machismo, like, hyper-macho, be-the-man's-man, super-alpha-male acting shit. Is that true? Is that, like, coming back? Bro, you talking like, about like this, bro, you talking about, like, this stupid dog, like, alpha-male type shit? You talk, let's talk about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, bro, this, this like, red pill, this blue like pill bullshit, of, you talking about that? It's, yeah, it's like this wave of men that feel that like women are taking, women are deceiving and taking over, and they're gonna reclaim their manhood. You stuff. ain't never want to smack a man for being a strong bitch, dude. Like, does that know. does that sound right? Does that sound? Yeah, completely. I don't know where, I don't know where this picture of a man not being a a man and being a strong man based on being a good person. And like taking care of those who, like taking care of everybody, a strong, 
You want to talk about a strong man. A strong man is a king that takes care of everybody. Yeah. Everybody. You won't even have to know him. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, you damn right, bro. Because I feel like it's, it's, some, it's some FNs out here. You know what I'm saying? That really... That really treat women wrong at the most vulnerable time, and that be like one well, the time they pregnant, and that's not making sense to me because it it just keep fucking happening like this shit like then then regular like oh well she pregnant let me go cheat what the fuck is wrong with you bro this is the time where you need to be around your woman the most this is not the time for you to be trying to figure out how to get your dick wet this is not the, the, dude, it, if, it's the oh my fucking God. dumbest if shit dude, to me bro if a dude cheats. If a dude cheats on a pregnant woman and that is your child, he deserves like, to die. Cut off. He deserves to die. Off. You are a fucking primate. That is some fucked up shit. I, God, I hate, I hate, I hate that. <laughs> At this point, bro, men across the world, women, men and women, men and women both should agree that if you cheat on a pregnant woman, bitch, it's treason. It's treason. Yeah. Just cut the dick off. At this point, nigga, you a useless ass individual because you can't, you, you're not going to be around your kid. And you damn yeah. sure not going to be around that woman. You're not even doing the one job you're supposed to. As exactly. A quote, quote, man, exactly. Which is and let, good yeah, yeah, yeah. Your and, fucking offspring. and let your punk ass become famous. Let you make some money. Let you come up, bro. And that's the thing. You may think you're becoming successful, but nah, I saw they waiting right there. Dude, let my son have Drake. no money. I think we were just talking about Drake. Oh. Shit. And they let Drake slide with that. They let Drake slide. But I feel like he be paying. Shit. Everybody. Pusha Pusha literally came out with a fucking full song to just dismantle him. Surgical Summer. You remember Surgical Summer? I remember Surgical Summer. And you know what? People are still like, oh my god, it's the latest Drake song. He's gotten even shittier than the last one. I can't wait. I don't. I ain't like none of this shit. This this last little album shit that Drake dropped. This motherfucking staying alive he got with motherfucking DJ Khaled. Man, look, I'm gonna say it right now. Fuck DJ Khaled. Him and and both of them niggas, bro. Both of them niggas. D, Drake be stealing styles, nigga. Motherfucking DJ Khaled be stealing whole whole. I'm talking about a whole song. He'll steal a whole idea and then just say, oh, another one, another what? You fat bitch. You ain't, you ain't done nothing. You ain't done nothing, bro. And then on top of that, to be mad at a nigga like Tyler, the creator, who actually makes music. Creates Dude, that's music. Impossible. That's kind But what... Here's the thing to me. It's like, DJ Khaled, okay, he's been around. He's been in the business for a long while. I will give him that. But, like, as Drake, you know if you're going to DJ Khaled looking for a side project, you've, like, you've ran out of creative juice. You know, that's... DJ Khaled's at the end of the toothpaste. Fucking hate that. He's at the end of the toothpaste tube as far as like contacts. Like, oh, okay, we did one with Future back when he was really good. Okay, cool. So that kind of worked out. That it was it was uh, uh, one of my favorite. But to do an album with DJ Khaled at this point in the game is basically saying, I would like to get paid every time they play this in Hollister. See, now you talking money. Now you talking money. Oh, dude, he's been he's been past the musician. He's I'm, just a business at this point. Who, Drake? It all comes back to the evil dollar. Drake? No, evil yeah. dollar. De- just money in general. Yeah. No, mediocrity comes back to Drake. Yeah, man. Yeah, cuz I I just I just really didn't like it. Like, okay, like I'll say this. When you have a couple songs that are good on the album, that don't make your shit great, bro. Because at this point, you talking legacy. You feel me? That's that's the talk. And, that, and that's the thing that kind of confused me about Drake. Because in one album, the nigga be talking about legacy and being a, a, a great MC and shit. And in the next album, your ass is singing. Or you not rapping as a rapper at all. You just, you know, doing some kinky ass shit. Or you doing some, some, some shit to get somebody to dance or something. Or two things. Uh, Drake stole dance hall. First of all, Drake stole dance hall. He, he, brother, I'm gonna keep it a G. This motherfucker appropriated dance hall. That's what the fuck he Dude. did. Yep. Yep. I thought, you know, I thought that uh, all the white reggae bands were really the worst culprits 
of uh, stealing some more island music culture. But realistically, it that's its own thing at this point. White Boy Reggae is its own jam, and people like it, and not just white people like it. So you that's know, it. That shit thing. is hard. They ain't gonna lie. Uh, Drake stealing dance hall. Uh, I don't really know anybody other than like the people that go to the cheap clubs that like Drake now. You know. Is yeah. that is that an offensive thing to say? I feel like the people that go to clubs in general would be really insulted by me saying that. You go to the cheap club. Yeah, either either that or or you go to some shit and you just drinking fucking wine or some shit and you letting that shit play or something. Or your ass is at home and you drinking fucking box wine or some shit like that. Dude, holy shit! Shout out to my Drake cousin. I love that music. Boy. Drake makes music for Wine Wednesdays. Huh? Drake, make Drake makes music for Wine Wednesdays. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? On some wine <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? You want to wine and dine with a bitch, you play God, some Drake. Yeah, you, you know that. You tone it you tone it down just a little bit. You bleep out the bad words. You bleep out the N word. And all of a sudden, it's a bunch of Karen sipping wine, loving. Oh, I love this beat. Yeah. Where's his mimosas? You know, I'm tired hey, of this shit. Mimosas are good as fuck. Oh, I, so I fuck with mimosas too heavy. I'm taking that joke back. That mimosas is too far. You know what I'm saying? I seen a bitch yeah. at motherfucking World of Beer. I know that one just no mimosa, bitch. You put some in there. You put some in there. This whole, I'm talking about, she loud as fuck. Oh, my God! Bitch, it just hit 11. It just hit 11. This whole, she screamed top of her lungs, right? Bitch, she, she fucked around by 11.30. She up here kissing her friend. Okay? Y'all bitches ain't what just drinking mimosa. Yeah, I'm going to World of Beer. That's why I was telling you, you need to go to, well, you know. Why, why do you go into... What do you expect? You going to somewhere called World Beer? Hey, Beer's first of all, 11 a.m. First of all, we hooded that shit out. You know what I'm saying? My circle was, was you know. <laughs> but I'm talking about the rest of the people. You feel me? You got some people that was watching motherfucking cornhole tournaments. Corn, cornhole tournaments. Sorry. Cornhole, yeah. I apologize. Cornhole tournaments. You got motherfuckers watching NASCAR and shit. And then this, these bitches is loud on cocaine and mimosas. Okay, niggas keep that. Cocaine and mimosas <laughs> Co- describes Tampa Bay a lot. That is t- that is a Tampa go to for them. Okay, not not that for is, not yeah. for me personally. No, not at all, not at all. Just straight mimosa. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, brother's third message of the day: Stay away from the dust, y'all. But yeah. that's all I got. <laughs> Bro, the dust. You know what I'm saying? Watch who you smoking with. You feel me? I'm yeah. just for real, like because it, it's. It's not a joke. The way that people are dying from fentanyl and, and, and at the rate that they die, nigga, is is crazy. It's alarming. And then on top of that, niggas is like, oh, well, how much do you have to... You know, shit, Cat Williams said the shit. He said, bro, how many do you have to consume in order to die? The nigga said, touch it. We, we, not, we don't do shit like that, bro. We don't just be touching yep. shit just to touch some shit. You feel what I'm saying? Yep. Like, if we see a bug that we ain't never seen, bitch, we running like it's a snake type shit. You know what I'm saying? So, we're, we're very... Precautious, especially me. I'm not fucking with that. You gotta, you gotta be uh, fentanyl. I mean, uh, and hey, brother, I get some fourth message today. Piss on it, brother's fourth message today. If we happen to have anybody out here that uh, has some hobbies in their pastime of uh, moving products, and you put fentanyl on any of your products, I hope you fucking die. Seriously. That's all. Yeah, man. I'm gonna just say, dog, cause like. Like, I don't, I don't really know how, like, um, c- celebrities are, um, dying due to, you know, family members and shit, you know. Um, I'm going to elaborate a little bit more on that. Uh, if you do have a celebrity friend, family member, uh, make sure you're not sharing their location. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Like, yes, rest in peace, uh, PNB Rock. I'm not sure when the funeral is, nigga, but I know, uh... He died recently, and um, his girl posted the location, and and I felt like, shit, I don't care if I'm a week later talking about it, nigga, it's, it's stupid, it's, it's just stupid, the fact that, like, people have to literally tell you, hey, you might want to protect the, the, the breadwinner, you might want to protect the motherfucker who, you know, help us move, type shit, you know, so it's like, why the fuck would you even think to post what the fuck y'all at? Then on top of that, the waffle was weak as a bitch. The goddamn chicken looked greasy as hell. It wasn't even no fire-ass plate to be sharing on motherfucking Instagram. That's my problem with the shit. It wasn't even that good of a motherfucking plate. 
too. It's also, I would say, in the majority of cases, like, if you even have the slight inkling that somebody might want to shoot you just just to get that get that badge of shooting you you probably shouldn't go outside that much just uber you know the nigga could have uber eats post meat something yeah he could have door dash there we go door that oh yeah i fought with door dash shout out the door dash you know what i'm saying i'll be doing that but i'm just saying like we got to be honest though I mean, whether you, whether you want to blame it on the people who shot him or 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 the chick, because what it is is that people are like, oh, yeah, send her love. Nah, fuck that, y'all. You got no business sending no motherfucking location. Yep. Period. I mean, it's point unfortunate blank. for her, but again, like, if you're that type of person and, and people know that people know you and people might want to off you, you gotta like you gotta be triple sure about that. And he may have been. It may have just been a goof up on her part, which if so, that's just really unfortunate. Kodak Black, that the shit he said was fucked up, bro. Like Dude, what dude, what the fuck okay, no, The no, nigga no, no, said no, no, no. the nigga said <laughs> the nigga said he said this whole dumb whole mind will kill herself. That shit <laughs> it's not funny at all. We don't, we don't, hey, we don't play that shit. Dude, what it is is that, bro, he should have said job. absolutely nothing, bro. Kodak should have just let that shit slide, bro. Yeah, rest in peace, dog. And let that shit slide. Cud had to put, yeah, bitch might as well kill herself. I'm like, damn, bro. Damn. But anyway, yeah. man, look, look, oh, look. No. Condolences to PNB Rock and his family, bro. Brother, you got anything else you want to add, dude? Uh, nah, man. Kodak Black's probably going to give Trump another rim job if he gets in jail again. So, that's all I'm saying. This has been another episode of LTA Global News. <laughs> I am Cuzzle Smith. And this is Brother. Yeah, thank you for checking in, man. Love. What the fuck? That's 